How can we study a distant ball of churning gases too hot to ever visit? We can study the sun because it gives off enormous amounts of energy, radiant energy that travels through space. One form of radiant energy is light. Light passes through our atmosphere to reach the Earth's surface. We can use the sunlight that reaches us to study the sun. One instrument that utilizes sunlight is the telescope. Through telescopes, scientists photograph the sun's glowing disk. Such photographs often show many dark areas. These dark areas called sunspots give off less light than the areas around them because they are not as hot. The number of sunspots changes. Every 11 years, there are many sunspots. We call this the active sun. In contrast, the photograph on the right shows the quiet sun. Scientists are still searching for the cause of this 11-year cycle. So we see that there are changes in the sun. To study some of these changes, scientists often attach motion picture cameras to telescopes. Around the dark sunspots in these motion pictures, we can see bright areas called active regions. 